Today is the fourth day of my 15 day tour to Nepal to complete the Annapurna, Annapurna base camp track. The day starts relatively early and after a good breakfast the tour company loads us trekkers and the porters and guide into a van and drives us to Nayapul for the commencement of the trek. The drive is around an hour and a half and it is very bumpy as the roads are in the process of being fixed. Now I get motion sick at the the best of times so you can imagine that I was extremely grateful to be out of the van and it was not a moment too soon it was uh yeah it was getting close uh the porters um after we hop out of the van the porters all organize the gear we make a brief toilet stop and then we are off and it is all I can do not to skip down the road as I'm so excited to be starting the trek um there are some stores here in Nayapul, uh, which is handy if you've forgotten anything. Um, but look, our group doesn't stop to look, um, as I think we're just all really eager to get going. Um, so that mountain in the distance, we were able to see a, um, a, a winding path around it, but that wasn't our path, but you could see little people um, walking up the side of the mountain. So it's not long before we've walked through the town of Nayapul, and we encounter our first suspension bridge. Everyone seemed a bit hesitant at first, but once once we were on it, like you realize how safe you feel and you don't worry after that. Our guide checks us into the registration office and then we are off into the Annapurna conservation area. We are walking beside a river and in no time, um, we happen to come across the bridge at Berathanti. So I have seen this bridge in so many videos. So this here was another pinch myself moment. Um, I was just so happy to be here. Today we are only trekking for about four hours as we are only going as far as Tikadunga. After we leave Birathanti, the track isn't really a track, it is just a basically a dirt road. Um, it's not all bad though as the scenery is really beautiful. The road goes up and down a little bit um, and this will affectionately um, come to be known as the Nepali flat, which is a little bit up, a little bit down. Um, we walk past a group of people um, just up here. I didn't film it though, and they were butchering a buffalo. And it was a very interesting sight to see in a, just in a paddock on a tarpaulin. So we stopped for lunch after about two hours of walking. And of course I ordered momos and some dal bart. Our lunch breaks, it took around 45 minutes and we were the only trekkers in the in that shop. So we got our food quite quickly um, and then, yeah, we're off again. So as we are making our way towards Tikadunga, it does start to drizzle. So I put my wet weather gear on, but it's still really quite warm. So look, there's, there was no need to pull out any of the warmer clothing. Um, we arrive around 5 p.m. into Tikadunga and we are staying at the guest house. And it's actually really cool. The grounds are really pretty. Um, and there's a waterfall that's right near the guest house. Our guide did tell us that in the monsoon season, it's so full um, that it's just too noisy to sleep. The guide and some of our porters were pointing out different types of vegetation to us and that was quite interesting also, um, especially some of the types of vegetation uh, that just seemingly seems to grow in 
the uh, in the forests there. So, look, we all settle. The group settles into their rooms. Um, interesting rooms. There's about a, a five centimeter gap underneath all the walls. So, um, yeah, I hope no one snores because you it'll just come straight through the wall. Um, so there is only one shower here. Uh, that we all needed to share so look we just took turns um, in the shower and once we were all clean we all joined up again in the dining room uh, and ordered dinner and yes again I ordered momos uh, I've got a thing for them um, and I also ordered some noodles and we were really fortunate enough to be able to watch our hosts make the momos um, the trek today was very easy actually it was a lot easier than I was expecting so I was a little bit surprised um, but that's a good thing because the next day is supposed to be uh, difficult and it, there's lots of stairs so yeah should be fine it should be fine um, you just yep slow and steady and you'll get there um, and that's it uh, for the first day of actual trekking